Foster Cogley. He's been to the theatre. He was invited uh, by Sir Kenneth Branagh, uh, a big Tottenham fan. I didn't know that. Big, you know, Big Ange and his kind of uh, his capacity for surprise con continues. He, did, he has also been talking about a more serious subject um, in football, which is that of recruitment. Um, Tottenham have got a new football director, uh, Johan Langer, which I've probably pronounced incorrectly. Um, he's come from Aston Villa. Um, he was at Villa before Umay Emery um, requested that uh, the club bring Monchi in from Spain, who's now the kind of technical director at uh, doing all the player recruitment at Villa. So Langer was kind of shoved to the side. He's now turned up at Tottenham, very highly rated, I'm told, uh, by someone I know who works at Aston Villa. But the point of this ramble is that Poster Cogger was suggested over the weekend that he wants his hands on recruitment. Now, I'm not saying that there's an issue between them. I'm not saying that at all. There's no, no sign of that. But Big Ange is saying that he's the type of manager who wants his fingerprints on the recruitment at Tottenham. Mm. Um, uh, I've, I've become a little bit lost with uh, club recruitment over the last number of years because we all don't really know who recruits for the the big teams there well, are, there are these it's at the smoke and mirrors isn't it I, th I think uh you know sometimes managers and I might be wrong with this and you can shoot me down I don't know but sometimes managers like to distance themselves well, from, the, from the bad ones from from no but they do they yeah. from recruitment they yeah. like to distance themselves mm. and then when they get a good one in then it's you know it, it's on them so it's a difficult one but you know, just on Poster Cogley, what do I know from his time at, at Celtic? He was very hands-on in that respect. Yeah. I think I think it's natural. I, mean, I think we understand the the, the sort of sporting director mm. model of clubs and managers can't can't do everything. But I think it's it's a quite a natural thought process that you sort of you want to have control of players coming in because ultimately it's. You know, it's your job yeah. to get the best. Best. So you want to have the final say. Is, is what is, yeah. is what I'm getting at. I, I, but the other the other side of that is um, the other side of that is that if you're a football club and you know that you're gonna your manager is gonna change, the average life expectancy at a Premier League club is about 18 yeah. months or something. You know, at some point the manager is either gonna move on or you're gonna sack him. So what you don't want is a system whereby you've got a load of players that he wanted but not necessarily might might not be suitable for the next one. So they like to have a more kind of holistic um, system whereby the coach is the person who can be slotted in and out of the system and the recruitment continues in its own way almost mm. regardless. But that's much easier said than done if you're a manager who rocks up to a football club and finds a load of players that you don't like waiting yeah, and, for you. And then, and then Chelsea being a you know really good model to look at because what, what, have, we, what have we said about Chelsea everyone. over the last... It, no, exactly. And they had to build... Did they not have to build extra... Extra dressing rooms. Yeah. Extra dressing yeah. rooms because yeah. the, you know, the, the, the squad is too bloated because what happens when new managers come in? They say the previous squad is awful. I want all these players out. I want to bring my own players in. So why, while while the conveyor might, belt, while the conveyor belt is, you know, is 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 great in theory, yeah. it actually costs a lot. New managers it? always say the same thing, which is that, which is that the players aren't fit enough, no, and they've been eating the wrong thing. They've been eating yeah. the wrong thing in the canteen. Yeah. The uh, the ketchup has been moving in and out of the uh, Tottenham yeah. canteen uh, <laughs> routinely for about five years. I think I'm, I think I'm right in this. So Conte was given great credit when he had some good results mm. for taking ketchup <laughs> out of the canteen at Tottenham, but I believe that yeah. Posta Goglo has brought him back into the canteen, yeah. and that's now the reason for Who's his. Right? Good results. So <laughs> it's right, who yeah. is right or, or, or wrong?